Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I will be doing a perfume collection because I did actually do one of these videos last year and you guys absolutely loved this video. So I thought that I'll bring it back this year because I do have a few new perfumes and I am a huge perfume lover. Like, I probably wear perfume every day and I do have a lot of perfumes to wear because I just am obsessed with collecting all these perfumes. Before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below and please subscribe to my channel if you are new. Um, I'd love to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of April so please subscribe if you are new and make it happen because I've been wanting to hit 4,000 subscribers for the longest time ever. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on the video. The first perfume that I am starting off with is the Lady Million perfume because this is a classic in everyone's collection it is it does smell absolutely gorgeous and I wear this as an everyday perfume because it just smells gorgeous the packaging is beautiful and gold and as you guys probably see I only have a tiny bit left of this perfume because it does smell divine and oh my god I have been wearing this perfume on days out like shopping I think I wore this perfume on my 18th birthday. I also got this gorgeous perfume for my 18th birthday. But yeah, this perfume is stunning and I highly recommend it if you want to try a new perfume up because it's gorgeous and it is a perfect everyday perfume to wear. I then do have a, a beautiful new perfume in my collection which I have been obsessed with since I got it on my 19th birthday, which is the Valentino Born and Rome perfume. This perfume is so like grown up. I wear this more for like if I'm going out even though we're in lockdown, we can't. But before we went into lockdown, I did wear this for my 19th birthday. Um, I think I might have took it to. I think I might have took it to Liverpool. I did go to Liverpool for my 19th birthday. But this perfume smells absolutely gorgeous. The packaging, classic, like Valentino kind of like design, isn't it? With the studs around it. But yeah, um, I love this perfume so much. I love the bottle. It smells absolutely gorgeous. And I would wear this one. I would wear this perfume probably more on a night out or like if I'm going for like a meal or somewhere like that. But yeah, I love this perfume so much and I love it. I am obsessed. And next up in my perfume collection I do have another new one to show you. It is the John Paul Gaultier Scandal A Paris perfume. This perfume comes in the most beautiful packaging. It comes in a pink felt like tin and oh my god I love this packaging so much. Like it has like a pair of legs in it, which I kind of like, it's kind of like cool designs in it and it says scandal on it and this perfume is the perfect sweet like florally perfume. It is the Air Paris version of it. I know that um, Scandal do the original one, the Air Paris and the By Night, but personally this one's my favourite. Like it has the most gorgeous sweet scent to it and the packaging is really really cute and I got this for my 19th birthday as well and I've been wearing this all the time. I probably wear this as an everyday perfume as well because it's just like like a gorgeous, like sweet kind of florally scent. But yeah, this perfume is pretty and I absolutely love it so much and I do wear it all the time. Next up in my collection, I do have the original Illy perfume because I think I got this for my 18th birthday as well. I've only got a tiny amount in it, but this perfume is kind of different compared to my other perfumes only because like the scent is very, very strong. And it stays on you for ages, but it kind of has a floral scent to it, but like deeper. It's quite hard to explain, obviously, because as it is a different type of perfume for me to wear, but I would say that it's quite, I don't know how to describe it basically, but um, I love the packaging. I love how with the muggler perfumes, um, you're able to refill them um, for like half the price of the perfume I think so if you go to the perfume shop you'll be able to refill it for like half the price I think but yeah this perfume is gorgeous and I'll probably wear this more for like going out for like a meal or something if I'm going for like a, a day out because this perfume trust me will last all day like it literally does last all day Um. so yeah but I love this perfume a lot and it is a staple in my collection 100%. So next up in my perfume here is one which is my ultimate favourite. It is the YSL Libra. I bought this on holiday in Lanzarote and it gives me pure holiday vibes, happiness, like sunshine, 
So this perfume has all those in one bottle and I bloody love this perfume. Firstly, the packaging is absolutely stunning. I love the gold on it. Gold is just absolutely stunning and the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. And I bought this on holiday and like I said, it is the perfect holiday scent. And I wear this more for meals, I would say. Um, I will wear it on a rare occasion only because this perfume does have a special place in my heart and this perfume was quite expensive but it's so worth the money and I would happily buy this again because it's absolutely stunning and um, so worth the money like it's absolutely gorgeous I like to display this perfume on there sometimes like on my dressing table especially at the front it's just absolutely beautiful and I bloody love it uh, next up I do have a classic daisy perfume the Daisy Love because I feel as if all the Daisy perfumes, everyone has them in their collection but the Daisy Love just the tops them all for me because it, it's the most gorgeous, sweet, lovely like light floral scent and I wear this for college only because it isn't an overpowering perfume which I love because some perfumes can be a bit too much um, but this one is so light, so sweet, so like soft smelling and Oh my god, I love this perfume so much. I did buy this in the gift set in the perfume shop. And oh my god, this scent, like, oh, if I could be a perfume, I'd be this one. Like, I think it will match my personality, like, perfectly. Because I'm quite, like, a sweet person, I would probably say. I don't know. I might not be, who knows. But this perfume is so good. I love how the perfume is in the shape of, like, a daisy as well. Um. I love the lid, it's so pretty, and the colour of the perfume is a lovely pinky orangey one. But yeah, um, all the Daisy perfumes are gorgeous, but for me personally, this perfume just tops all the Daisy ones. Thank you, Mac Jacobs, for making such a beautiful perfume because I absolutely adore this one. Like, it's super pretty, and the packaging is gorgeous. Next up, I kind of have an unusual perfume in my collection. It is a Machino Pink Fresh one. I think I might have bought this in Glasgow but this perfume is like very strong very overpowering it is Machino perfume obviously Machino as a brand are quite kind of like out there and different aren't they but I love this bottle so much I love how it is in the shape of like a cleaner bottle and it's so cool um like it's amazing but this perfume is a a de toilette but it's like the strongest perfume if I sprayed a couple of sprays of this in the morning, by the night time, I guarantee you, I will be able to smell this still, like it's that strong, like it is like a gorgeous smelling perfume, but very strong, but the packaging however is absolutely gorgeous, like it's a really cool idea of how they made this perfume, but I would say it's a very like floral fresh scent, Um, but, oh smells good, but very 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 strong. Um. I only wear this if I'm going out and I want a long lasting perfume on me. But yeah, it does smell very good and I love it. So next up I do have a very old classic in my collection which I have loved for over four years I think. It is a Ted Baker Poly perfume. If you guys have not smelled this perfume, it just smells of like sweet. Like it's absolutely gorgeous though. It can be hard to find these days but I think the best place to find it it's TK Maxx, the fragrance shop, and probably like eBay and Amazon. But this perfume is an older perfume, but smells delicious. And it is the perfect everyday perfume. It isn't like a long-lasting perfume, but if you want a lovely like perfume to wear like in the daytime, this one is for you. And the packaging is so cute. I love how it's an ombre bottle, and the lid is gorgeous as well. Like it has a little diamond on it. And finally, to complete my perfume collection, it would not be a perfume collection without the Jimmy Choo Blossom perfume. This perfume smells of like sweet flowers. Like ugh. if you guys have ever smelled this, you will know what I mean. Like it just smells of like sweet flowers. And it smells gorgeous. Like, oh my god, it's so sweet but so good. This perfume is really affordable as well. Um, this one is a 60ml. A 60ml perfume and I got this for £30 in the perfume shop. It's so affordable but smells so good and a long lasting on your skin I will say that as well. Like it does 
and last a long time on your skin but I love the packaging so much and the scent it's absolutely unreal like I am obsessed with this perfume it just smells so good and super cheap as well which I love anyway guys here is the end of my perfume collection I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed filming it honestly I love my perfumes I literally wear them all the time and I love to have a range of scents to choose from in my perfume collection but if you have enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please subscribe if you are new because I really want to get to 4,000 subscribers so please subscribe and you'll make it happen but yeah I'll see you all in my next video bye for watching